this is the third time I've shut down three times in one year. And it's just it's just crazy. First, it was a lockdown, then a pipe burst in her ceiling. Then an employee tested positive for COVID. I mean, we've all tested negative, so thank God for that. Our employees on the men. Restaurant owner Cynthia Pasillo says she recently shut down for two weeks out of safety to have her entire team quarantine. Her new challenge? Winter. Try getting them. They're really in like not easy to find right now because everybody's doing the same thing. Pasillo was able to stay afloat with her outdoor tents, but with snow on the horizon, she's not sure how her two heater setup will hold up. I don't see any aid coming, so I just do what I do and I'll get up every morning and Keep hoping that it's going to change and get better. That's it. What am I going to do? Many restaurants won't be able to hold on much longer with the change in seasons if indoor dining stays at 25 percent, says the president and CEO of New Jersey Restaurant and Hospitality Association, Mary Lou Halverson. So there's just over 25,000 restaurants uh, in the state of New Jersey. You know, right now we're probably at about 40 percent independent restaurants closing. I mean, this continues without having the ability to do outdoor dining. I mean, it's just going it, to, it'll cripple the industry. And something should be noted is we contribute $18 billion to the state's economy and taxes. Senator Declan O'Scanlan is pushing to get indoor dining to 66%. That would get a lot of restaurants uh, over the line where they can operate at, at a profit. How did you get to that number, 66%? It's a compromise. I mean, we've spent huge amounts of time researching what other states have done, comparing uh, rate of spread, uh, in other states. Some restaurants can't get to 50% just because of the six feet requirement. Allowing the plexiglass, you know, as permanent um, barriers in between booths and tables would be helpful. Governor Murphy addressed indoor dining on News 12 last week on Ask Governor Murphy and said while he can't tie the increase in new cases to indoor dining, increasing capacity at a time when numbers are spiking would send mixed messages. I'd love to get there. Believe me, I would love to get there. Now, when I talk about federal help, uh, I think uh, high on that list are rest restaurants and hospitality who have been crushed by this. But we're pleading with people that the numbers have gone against us. We're one of the only two states at 25 percent and none of the spikes keep are coming from restaurants. I just think that they should leave it to the people to make their choices and their decisions, you know. Cynthia Pasillo says she has fewer people working, more stress and something has to give because the industry is getting hit and she refuses to close her doors. I'm Leah Mishkin for NJ Spotlight News.